Hello tribe, welcome back. So let's see what is the unexpected, what is happening. And as usual, pile number one is right here, two and three. If you want to choose from thumbnail, I will put it up right now. If you need some more time, stop it right here and I will see you downstairs. Hey group number one, let's see what is happening with you. What is the unexpected? One. I hope you're all doing well. We have a bow. You are highly thought of. Of a skull. Hidden secrets. Secrets can harm you. Let's get clarifying, shall we? I'm going to be using these two colonnades back for you. Push this aside a little. What do you need to know about the bow card? Who's thinking of you? Who's this individual? Have the five of wands, the wheel of fortune, three of wands, two of wands, oh, 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 eight of cups, bottom of the deck, and snake. We have the world card. This is definitely an individual who lives away from you. It could be a different city, different town. This is someone who's missing you. Really, I do see daydreaming here. This is someone who misses you. This is someone who thinks of you quite often. This individual puts you on high regard. Now, this is someone who thinks that you are great. This individual, if this is your story, if you had a fight with them or an argument, they think that you are correct and you are right. But maybe it's difficult for them to, to say that out loud. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to hear news from this person. Soon enough, within the next couple of weeks, you'll get either a phone call, a message, an email. It seems that this is supposed to happen. This interaction is supposed to happen with the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know if you have a split ways or if life happened and you both had to move. But it seems like you meant to cross paths again or you meant to see each other again. So you may have an unexpected plan. Something that you're not thinking about right now, something that you don't have on your schedule or even in your head. Once this individual reaches out, I feel like that's when things start moving forward and you both may come up with an idea. Maybe instead of one of you going towards the other, you may want to meet somewhere in the middle. You may want to meet in a new environment, maybe explore or go on adventure. This is for my people who, in general, just have a very adventurous soul. Um, well, at least one of you does. And I feel like whoever this is, who is that adventurer, is supposed to, in some way, to teach the other person how to be a little bit more extroverted and how to enjoy uh, spontaneous things, how to enjoy life. And I feel like this other person who's not so spontaneous, a lot of times, is thankful for that. It may be just difficult for them to get into it, plan everything, or to agree at the beginning, but once they are there, they have in the, in the time of their life. Okay, what else we got here? I feel like some time passed since you had spent a long time together or had long conversations. It's something that you used to do. And it's something that you used to do and it's time to revive this connection. For a lot of you, I'm feeling this is a friendship, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. No, not this one. Let's see. And if there are any things that they were not talked about, any issues that are still on one of your minds, I feel like it's going to be a really great, great time for you to clear any mist that you may have between you two. In general, clearing the air and bonding with one another is the way to go here. Though one of you feels quite protective over yourself or over your space, so maybe there was a situation where someone was in some way deceived. If that's the case, this is completely normal for someone to have their guard down. 
child out. But first, the conversation has to take place until someone puts their, puts their walls down, because otherwise, there is no way moving forward. And maybe for some of you, if this is you here, some of you don't even want to put your walls down in regards to this person. So when you do reach out, you may say, hey, I'm not sure about this. Though, for most of you here, I'm picking up, uh, don't see, uh, this is not describing a dramatic ex situation, not at all. This is describing a situation that maybe there was a misunderstanding. Or maybe someone said something and they have to apologize. Uh, or maybe there was none of it at all and two people are just supposed to resurface back into each other's lives. That's the message. People are resurfacing into each other's lives. Talking about the difficulties they went through when they were apart. <laughs> Talking about some stuff that they did, what kind of risks they taken and what kind of you know, um, unexpected events took place when they were not around, when they were not together. Talking about what they have learned so far. It seems like these two people are meant to reconnect here, and I keep hearing it in my head. Okay, let's check in on the skull and see what we have there. And I'm gonna switch decks. We're gonna be using the haunted house tarot for this portion. See, hidden secrets can harm you. What is this about? Um, hmm. Now, since this is the unexpected. Seems to be your situation here. You are trying or you have been trying to hide something. Maybe little details about a situation, but those details are the most important ones to set the tone for the situation. And uh, you're kind of saying in the future you will see how that wasn't a good call, leaving something out. Um, I'm seeing someone wanting to cover something up, or they shouldn't. You shouldn't cover it up. Something, something is being brushed under the rug, but it's going to be found later on. And questions will be asked. So this is more so like a warning message saying, um, is the information that you are keeping is good for you to keep? Is it good for you or is it good for someone else who is involved in the situation? Because something is coming to light here. Now, if this is not your story, like I have, I have nothing to hide here, then this is someone that you're dealing with and you're going to see that the, the secrets come to light and you're going to be surprised about that. You're going to be like, why did you keep that from me? Or some of you will be a little bit pissed off because you're going to be, but it was in your best interest to tell me that. So I could have helped you. But if I didn't know about what you were going through, I couldn't have helped you. And now I feel bad. I don't want to kick you in the ass. Because I was supposed to be there for you. You should never be afraid to tell me something. That's what I'm hearing. This is not a dramatic situation. It's just someone who is trying to make peace. Uh, but in order for them to make peace, they, it seems like they think that they have to leave something. See, the intentions of this person are good. We have um, Ten of Cups and we have this pure angel over here. It seems like this person wasn't trying to harm anyone, hiding some sort of secrets. They thought that that was the right thing to do at that time. But for someone it was, but for someone else it wasn't. You know, it's one of those complicated situations. So you may find something out the next coming week or two. What was happening behind the scenes? What someone was planning, strategizing, what they were doing. In some way has put them in a really shitty situation, but they didn't want to um, harm anyone here. They really didn't want to harm anyone. But they are the ones who are, 
would have the same bad moment to glaze over the situation, right? Glaze the cracks. Um, but in reality, the crack had to be polished and done itself. You know, what's, what's beyond that crack? Looking at foundation, for example, looking at the wall structure, right? I really feel bad for this individual because they were not trying to harm anyone. They're like, okay, I'm gonna glaze over that crack somewhere. Mm. It's not there. But then maybe the wall crumbles. You know what I mean? It's one of those situations. The wall crumbles and they go, oh my God. An inspection comes and they say, well, why was it glazed over? Why wasn't this acknowledged? Why no one talked to any professional about this? What was happening? Why was someone trying to hide it? And that person goes, I didn't see this through. I really didn't see this through. I just wanted it to look good for that time being. So it's just very metaphorical, but that's what's happening here. Okay. This was a very interesting story from Buwan. I hope this made sense. Uh, if you can interact with my content, I'd always appreciate it. And have a wonderful week. So let's see what we have here. We have a seahorse, family matters, and we have the basket, recognition, reward for merit. You have wonderful cards here. Let's get the Tower of the Angels and let's start playing. Okay. family situation here that needs to be looked at and it's gonna come up, come up out of the blue within the next couple of weeks uh, now this is something that is gonna be really important for your lineage uh, for your generation in general and I feel like there is something that you want to make changes about it could be um, that you want to make changes within your own family how someone views something, how someone operates in the world in order for the better future. Or there is something here that you've experienced that was really hard karmically uh, within your family that you want to change completely. You go, okay, I see this as an example. I do not want to be a part of this or I do not agree to this and therefore I'm going to try and not pick this up and repeat it myself. So we're seeing an improvement in behavior here. It could be anything really. It could be as simple as you grew up in a smoker's house, right? You want to change, and you started smoking yourself. You are young, um, older. And now you go, you know what? I recognize that that was something that I've seen all the time. That was the influence. But I feel like I want to drop it now. I feel like I want a different um, way of living for myself. It could be a situation where someone in the family was talking really harshly to their partner. And when you have a partner and you've noticed, or you will be noticing recently, soon enough, sorry, that you are doing it as well, but you're doing it very subconsciously, and you go, oh my God, you catch yourself, and you go, okay, I don't want to do that. I want to change, and I want a different, to create a different relationship Therefore, I'm going to look deep at myself and I'm going to start making those changes. Mm -hmm. Very uh, specific situation. Someone's brother or father 
will have to take care of some sort of documents, an expected documents. I'm seeing some sort of form coming in and they go, oh my god, I need to, I need to take care of this thing. Maybe a bill wasn't paid, maybe um, a fine wasn't paid and an accumulated percentage or uh, maybe they need to, they needed to sign something but they kept delaying it so they're getting another notice now to take care of something. But someone has to take care of something here that they were not acting on previously. Or if any formality comes through the door, and if you know that this individual tends to delay everything, or hates documents, um, give them a bit of a kick in the ass so that they don't have any more unexpected documents coming in here. Okay. I'm seeing someone reviewing formalities and going, oh, I may have missed that. Okay. We also, you know, missing out on the particular bill. Completely forgetting it. And then the next month, maybe it's double the bill, and they go, where does that come from? I don't have that extra money. And then it creates chaos. So we're seeing here we want to avoid that chaos. Because it's possible to do that. It's completely up to us how the future will turn out. Mm, another story about the family matters. Someone is going on a trip together with their family members. This is very sweet. It doesn't necessarily have to be a whole family. It could be a sister, a brother that you're going with. It could be a mother, a dad, grandparents. But it seems like you're going to have a wonderful time. And since this is the unexpected, you may not have planned it just yet. You don't know about it. It's going to start showing up in your life. Next week, we're going to have to get hints. We may have a conversation with someone. And it's going to spark an idea. Okay, let's move to recognition reward for merit. Why is the basket here? And I'm going to switch to the healing light tarot. someone saying finally here is your recognition and success i'm hearing someone saying finally i've been working on this goal and dream so freaking long i had to go through a lot of thinking doubting myself picking myself up transform transforming um, being flexible and uh, recognizing what i needed for this goal and dream in order for it to come to life and it's finally here. So I don't know exactly what all of you have been working on. You should know about it yourself. I'm not going to try and mention very specific scenarios here not to throw you off. But you need to know that one of your goals or dreams are coming true. Uh, but this is not out of the blue though. It's something that you have been investing a lot of your time and energy into and uh, you didn't give up. If you're watching this and you have recently given up on something, I would say pick it up again. It's very close. You are very, very close. And once this recognition comes in, you may uh, be in a little bit of a busy period in your life, so get ready. Make sure you sleep well, make sure you exercise or do whatever that helps you feel energized and balanced throughout the day. Watch your sugar intake so that you don't crash because you need your energy levels to be as, um, as balanced as possible so that we are not going up and down like this. Because that's when it can become a bit difficult, you know. You have a very heavy lunch, for example, and you're uh, already wanting to go up and do that next. 
access to your laptop. Click on a keyboard. Um, so find your way and the best way for you that helps you carry on throughout the day with a good good levels of energy. Okay. Because yeah, I'm seeing you busy, I'm seeing you needing to do something with that recognition. It's not that it comes in and then you celebrate for it and then you go, oh my god, this is great, and then you're not feeling any impact of it. The impact of this recognition is you're going to be given something else, extra, it seems like, that you're going to have to nurture, um, metaphorically speaking, nurture as a baby. Okay. What else we got here? And with that, together with that, comes learning. You may step into new shoes. This could potentially be a referencing to a promotion or you wearing a bit of a different hat. But you're growing. This is great. Polymer to you are growing. You are moving forward. You are not stagnant. You will want to celebrate this. You will want to call a friend or family members and throw yourself a little party. Um, get together to celebrate this. Don't forget to celebrate your little or big achievements. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size of them. Remember to pat yourself on the back. Okay? Well, I hope this made sense. I will see you in the next one. Hello, panel number three. Let's see what we got for you. We have a fair woman and we have success. Ooh. Okay, let's get clarifying. We're going to be using the Tarot of the Angels. How is this fair woman influential for you? With blonde, gray or white hair. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Six of Swords. Okay. And there she is again, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Ten of Cups. Listen, this is someone who makes you happy, and this is someone who's gonna, who's gonna help you see the other side of things. This is someone who is going to be helpful when making a, maybe for some of you, a difficult decision in your life where you're not going to know which way to go. This feels like a motherly energy to me. Even if it's not your mother, this is someone who has that kind of quality to them. You feel safe around them. You feel, you feel cared by them. This is someone who wishes you really, really well. This person wants you to be on top of things, um, wishes you the best. This person roots for you and prays for you. So I'm just getting comfortable. This individual is like a light sent your way, <laughs> regardless of what kind of relationship you have with them. This is someone who may even spark an idea you um, you may have a conversation with them and they're gonna go hey how about that or how about if you have a difficult situation that you're going through how about if you did this and I really feel like this is someone who's not pushing their opinion on you this is someone who sees you for who you are they don't want to change you but they want to help you and uh, they have really good insights on what you are going through or what is the best way for you because they are not advising you based on their own experiences they are advising you based on your experiences they are able to tap into your life and to understand what you need not what they want you to be like if that makes sense another story about this individual uh, some of you may want to go on a trip with them or see them meet them halfway somewhere some of you may live far away from each other and you two may even plan a trip together. Listen, if you do plan a trip with this individual, it's going to be great. Listen, no questions asked. You're going to bring so many great memories with them. You're going to look at the stars. You're going to experience great food. You're going to be in theaters. You're going to listen to live music. You're going to experience a tradition that is maybe new to you. There are a lot of things to be done with this individual in this lifetime and you may be recognizing that. If you haven't recognized it just yet, you will be very soon. 
Mm, it's gonna sound weird, but this individual kind of written, you written a contract, pre-incarnation contract with them. They agree to do something good for you, and you agree to do something good for them. But it's in very different cases and scenarios, um, and it's the time for this person to fulfill that vow. They don't know about it consciously. They know about it on a soul level. <laughs> Maybe you already have done something that you were meant to do for this individual. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a one-off thing. It could be a continuous support, right? It could be something as um, simple sounding, even though it's not simple as that. Okay, let's get more info. This individual can also help you wrap up a difficult situation that was scaring you, making you feel, feel anxious. They can help you overcome that. They can help you find a better way or a better path. And just by having, again, a conversation or just being in their presence, it's very it's very beautiful. Yeah, they, they sound like an angel for you here. Doesn't matter what you're going through, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna help you carry your load. I'm gonna help you reconnect your heart when you feel like you wanna close it. I'm going to help you at times when you feel completely lost, at times when you feel lonely, at times when you feel like you want to put walls up and shut the world, um, shut the doors. Shut the doors behind you for everyone else. This person knows how to walk in through those doors without being an intruder because you, it feels like you want to let this person in at any time where you may not want to let anyone else in but just them again this mother figure is coming through here you're supposed to work together in this lifetime to go through um, any emotional turmoil to show each other the way to teach one another and to gift to one another maybe some of you are gonna have challenges with this person too when you don't see eye to eye but I feel like um, you are sorting it out pretty quickly with the wheel of fortune and then you're back again you're back um you're back at abundance of this relationship so this is really really beautiful okay let's see what else we got here what is the success about i feel like these two are connected somehow through this relationship um, you're getting closer to that success and it's not to say that it's all because of them you are the one who's doing the work but this person may nudge you or navigate you at times when you need to be navigated let's see what else What is the success about? Again, it's connected to this kind of like a new idea or download that you get in here. An aha moment, you go, ooh, how about I try this? How about I try this? Mm -hmm, we're getting a theme here. The success refers to a relationship. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Okay, okay. You are blessed, and soon enough you're gonna notice that that you are blessed in your relationship department right now. Don't be surprised that people wanna help you, people wanna be there for you. You meet new people if you're open for that, because if you're not, I don't see this happening. You have to consent to this, right? Uh, on energetic level, you are the person who's gonna experience within the next three months, whenever you're watching this video, various magical encounters with people. It could be something random in grocery store. Um, I'm also hearing someone got lucky. And this feeling that I'm getting, it reminds me of one of those YouTube videos where people go out there and they test people's kindness. And a lot of times people say no because they're busy, because they don't want to be scammed, because they don't trust the individual. Uh, but there is that one person always, or a couple of people, who are like, yeah, I want to talk to you, what you about? I'm going to give you a dollar or a pound, if you need that, or maybe more. And then they're being rewarded like 100, ti 100 times more. 
so it could be an interaction like that um, this also reminds me another channel uh, I don't remember what is the name of it mm, that was epic um, and my favorite videos that he films is when he goes and pays people rent he bangs on a door knocks on the door and he goes hey how much do you pay rent here and people are surprised like oh, I don't want to tell you some of them right um, some people don't open the door and when they do tell him the price he pays the rent <laughs> he goes this is for you sayonara have a great day so it's I'm also getting one of those kind of interactions here that is very kind of out of the blue very magical very lucky right place uh, right place in the right time I'm also seeing someone meeting a, a love interest that is gonna be very well suited for you if that's something that you are open to if that is not a love interest then this is a very beautiful new friendship that is happening though for most of you this is a love interest we have the two of cups and the four of wands here uh, this situation can lead to engagement and marriage for a lot of you here and then we have the empress at the bottom of a deck signifying fertility you are building something together you're giving birth to something right and it's not necessarily a child if you for example some of you may not want children it could be a business that you both um, coming up with and you're birthing that business into the world right or you are working on a project together you're building a home together and therefore um, you look at it and you go whoa we did that right we made this a very very nice individual I like their energy here with the king of cups this is someone who is um, very tapped into their feelings and someone who's not running away from conversations about the feelings someone who knows how to be vulnerable and they want to work on relationship equally the way that you want to work on it too so i hope this made sense pan number three i would appreciate if you in interacted with my content and i will see you guys in the next one bye for now